Hey, what is up gentlemen, welcome back to this new tutorial. So now I'm gonna be showing you how we can EQ this CSS style sheet in your WordPress plugin. Okay, so first thing to do, I'm gonna to go to this index.php. Basically this file is where you loaded your uh, plugin. You can see over here the plugin name and so on. So I'm gonna scroll way down and let's create a function. So function over here. And let's call this function add style. I'm gonna open the parentheses and let's go down. So we need basically to do two things. First one is going to be to register the style. And after that, we need to enqueue that style. So first one, let's uh, register the style. So WordPress web page dash register dash style like this. And over here, I'm going to be putting the name of that style. So like this. Okay. And let's close this one with the semicolon. And now let's enqueue that style. So web page dash enqueue dash style like this. And first one is going to be the same name that we use over here. So let's just copy this one, paste it over here. And so this is the first parameter. For the second parameter, we need to include the path to our CSS file. So first, let me create that CSS. So over here, I'm going to go to my plugin and let's create a new folder. Let's call it scripts because this file is going to contain everything from the CSS to the JavaScript. And inside it, let's create a new folder specialized in CSS. Okay, so this one over here is gonna contain all the CSS files. And inside it, let's create a new file. Control S to save. And let's call it custom style.css. Okay, so let's hit save. So now we're having our CSS file. Okay, so let's include it. So the first one, the first thing to do is to uh, use the plugin file. So this WordPress can find this folder over here. So let's use plugin, dear, we're only going to be using the path, but the URL here dash URL like this. And inside uh, this one, the open the parentheses, we're going to be putting the file. So the double dash, oops, the double dash file like this. And let's close that with the double dash. And I'm going to hit point. And now let's continue our path. So, so far over here, the plugin, the URL, the file, it's going to give us it's going to point us to this location. So now we need to specify the scripts. So from here, let's write scripts and slash CSS folder, another slash, and let's add over here the custom style, custom dash style point CSS. All right. Okay. So let's close this one with a semicolon. So as you can see, we created a function add style. We register the style and we enqueue that style. So over here, all we have to do right now is to execute this function, as you can see, we always write a function and we execute it using the add filter hook or the add action hook. In our case, we're going to be using the add action, add action hook. Let's open the purchases. First one is going to be the webp nq scripts. So webp, not style, but scripts. Make sure that you are using scripts. So nq scripts like this. So basically this uh, hook over here is going to be using it to include uh, CSS, JavaScript, everything. Okay, so I'm gonna put a comma and for the second parameter, it's easy. I'm gonna just put the name of the function that I want to execute. Let's put it over here and let's close this one with a semicolon. Excellent. Okay, so now let's see our CSS file in action. So I'm gonna be going to my templates over here. I use, I'm using this template products over here. Let me show you that, that uh, template. So I'm assigning it to this page over here. You can see the tutorial down below on how to do so and how to create a page automatically and how to assign a custom template to it. So over here, you can see it's empty. All we have is all products over here, which is the title, the title of our page. So what I'd like to do is to go to the body over here and let's create something. I'm going to create, start with a div and inside that div, let's create a paragraph. Okay. So let's say hello. Hello. This is, this is the products, the products page. Okay. So let's see this line over here, this paragraph. Okay, so it's working. So now let's apply some CSS style to this line, to this paragraph. So first thing uh, to do, let's go over here, uh, or first let's add a class over here. So let's add a class and let's call it text. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my CSS file and I'm gonna be addressing this class over here. So point text over here and let's open the parentheses and let's go down. And first let's make sure to align it to the center. Take this one and put it in the center. So text align put it in the center. And in the second second thing that I'd like to do is to uh, make the font a little bit bigger. So font size, let's make it for example, 1.5 rem. 
okay and also let's change the color if you see our css uh, in action so color over here let's make it red red color okay so let's go back over here if we do refresh nothing's gonna be happening the reason why this one is uh, this is happening is because we didn't include the whip head in our templates so we must do that so i'm gonna go to the top over here and i'm gonna start with a php tag like this let's close it and over here i'm gonna be uh, using the wordpress whip head like this and let's close it later on we can change the whip head with the whip header to include the uh, the navigation bar and so on so for now i just want to include the css files in my templates so let's hit save and let's check our here our file okay so as you can see we're having a problem so after i did the research i found that the problem is here in the app action so basically over here when registering the style we must also include the file to it so i'm gonna just copy this one and let's add a comma over here and let's paste the url okay so let's hit save and let's do refresh and as you can see, our CSS is loaded successfully in our template. So that's it for this tutorial. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. And also, if you're not subscribing, consider subscribing. Okay, so thanks for watching. I'm going to see you in the next tutorial. Take care.